Bana developed from many ancient states that formed a loose collective to the point where Lana Kingdom reached its height of power during the early 14th century. Although the states were surrounded by mountainous barriers, alliances were formed through marriages and extended family networks of the ruling elite. The Lana people were united by common myths and legends, especially with the incorporation of Buddhism into their ways of life. Aspects of ancient Lana heritage remain evident to this very day. And even after over 700 years since the establishment of the kingdom, historians continue on their journey of reconstructing images of what could have been the ancient Lana. They seek out ways of identifying the influences that shaped the building of the kingdom's cultural and environmental foundations. They attempt to provide insight into the roles of the states that formed the Lana kingdom in its early stages, all the way to the changes in status through modern political transitions and in their dealings with neighboring powers. What was once the Lana kingdom now belongs to a modern nation state. It's now part of the upper northern region of Thailand. This series, titled Remains of Burmese Designs in Lana, doesn't only concern the arts and traditions of Lana. We also learn about the neighboring kingdoms that experienced their glory and decline, and how these other cultural influences were absorbed into Lana society and ways of life. In fact, if we observe the historical details at a greater depth, we'll find that there was no single kingdom that reigned supreme in this region. Cultural influences combined and blended, resulting in cultural hybridity. These new cultural phenomena that emerged from what had gone before could be compared to the branching of roots. Lana on the map of life that has never disappeared. This is Wyong Nong Long, the birthplace of an ancient kingdom called Yanok Nakapan, situated on the border between the districts of Xiang San and Merjan in Chiang Rai province. Legend has it that the Yon people settled here with their ruler by the name of Sing Hanawat. The legend tells of the Gok River that was home to an eel with a light coloring believed to belong to a special category. The people caught this special eel and it was shared around as food, after which a major earthquake destroyed the settlements, bringing about the fall of the kingdom of Yonok Nakapan. This story features in the Xiang San legends. The earthquake directly corresponds with the fact that the kingdom of Yanok, or present-day Merjan, was situated along a geologic fault, as confirmed by the Department of Mineral Resources. This could well have been the natural disaster that brought about Yanok's downfall. Yanok was situated in the Gok River Basin, where the tributaries large and small flow into the larger main stem, Merkong River. Communities had settled in the area before the establishment of the Lana Kingdom. These communities belonged to the kingdoms of Nongyang, Suwan Kong Kam, and Chiang San. Suwan Kong Kam was situated on an island in the middle of the Merkong River. Our Spirit of Asia team crossed over the border to Laos to explore the area during a previous trip. The remains of an old brick wall and a Buddha image in a vacant field were clear indications of the foundations of an ancient community. On the opposite side was the kingdom of Xiang San, 
considered a marginalized cultural area located far away from the influences of Bagan, Khmer, and Hunan. The founding of this ancient civilization was mentioned in the Xiang Sand legends, and the fall of the kingdom corresponded with the fall of the Singhanawat dynasty. In times that followed, the rise of the Manglai dynasty meant the incorporation of the Yonok civilization of the Golk River Basin into the collective of the Lana states. Most of these settlements were situated near rivers and tributaries which allowed people to travel, trade, and exchange. In times of war, prisoners of war were brought over to the victorious states. These populations that were forced to migrate as a result of conflict ended up contributing to the development of the local labor force as well as folk knowledge and skills. States with larger populations had the upper hand when it came to conducting war and trade. The state of Peao was situated in the Ing River Basin, Kelong the Khan, or present-day Lampang Province, as well as the state of Prayer, were situated in the Upper Yom River Basin. The state of Nan was situated in the Nan River Basin. The state of Hari Punchai was situated in the Upper Ping River Basin. Each and every one of these states had their own rulers, and each one had their own distinct advantages by way of local resources. The weaker state became a vassal state that had a mutual obligation to the superior state. The payment of tributes always governed the relationship between vassal rulers and the superior state upon which they were dependent. During the era of Mongrai, these vassal states formed the Lana Collective, whose history continues to be studied to this day. Although they were thought to be under the umbrella of Lana, the states maintained varying degrees of independence as well as interdependent relationships amongst themselves. The ruling elite of some of these states were related within the same clan networks. We now follow the legend of Queen Jamatevi of the Kingdom of Hari Punchai. เมืองนี้เนี่ยจัดตำนานนะคะแล้วก็จัดเอกสารทางด้านประวัติศาสตร์อธิบายว่าพระนางจามาเทวีนะคะซึ่งเป็นธิดาของกษัตริย์ละโ
เสาสี่เหลี่ยมค้ำยันยอดเจดีซึ่งลักษณะเช่นนี้มันจะเป็นลักษณะที่เราพบว่าเป็นรูปแบบของสถาปัตยกรรมแบบพม่าที่พุกาม The stupa located within the temple compound of Wat Gugut is believed to have been built by the order of Anantayot and Mahantayot, who were Queen Jamatevi's sons. Legend has it that the stupa stored the queen's remains. It was also here in Wat Gugut that historians uncovered a stone inscription by King Sawa Watisit. หลักนี้เนี่ยนะคะเป็นหลักที่หนึ่งเนาะมีความสําคัญมากเพราะว่ามันมีการกล่าวว่าพระเจ้าสวาวาทิสิทธิผู้ครองอาณาจักรของชาวมอญฉะนั้นจากจารึกอันนี้ทั้งนักโบราณคดีแล้วก็นักประวัติศาสตร์เชื่อว่าบริเวณนี้เนี่ยอย่างน้อยนะคะราวพุทธศตวรรษที่17มีชนชาวมอญอาศัยอยู่เนื่องจากว่าเราเอานําตัวอักษรมอญโบราณที่เจอในจารึกนะคะไปเทียบเคียงกับจารึกมายาเจดีที่ผู้กามจารึกอักษรมอนโบราณส่วนใหญ่ที่พบที่จังหวัดลำพูนก็เป็นตัวอักษรมอนโบราณทั้งหมดเลย Ancient Mon characters gave rise to the Dama characters of Lana since the Lana people developed the Mon writing system to use in the writing of Dama manuscripts In times that followed, the characters were adapted to better suit Lana ways, accounting for the differentiations between Mon characters and the classical Lana writing system. Even in this day and age, we can still find palm leaf manuscripts kept here at Wat p r a j a l l a n t o n g These are materials made from dried and smoke-treated palm leaves, on which we find classical Lana characters in the writings. We travel about 15 kilometers from central l a m p u n heading towards the communities of Ban w i a n g Ga Glang and Bang Nong Du. The community members have Mon ancestry, and although society has changed enormously, the locals still use the Mon language combined with folk language in their everyday communication. This is an example of present-day evidence. That sheds light on ancestral patterns of movement and exchange within Hari Punchai. As we learn more about the ways of life of the two communities, the highlight occurs when we get to witness certain aspects of folk cultural heritage still practiced among the last group of Mon people in Hari Punchai. การนำมาพระพุทธศาสนาเข้ามาแม้ว่ามันจะมีการปะทะกันในช่วงแรกของการเข้ามาใหม่แต่ว่ามันก็มีการเอารับเอาวัฒนธรรมก็คือพระพุทธศาสนาเนี่ยเข้ามานะคะเพราะฉะนั้นเราจะเห็นถึงการสร้างวัดวาอารามจำนวนมากแล้วก็มีประเพณีพิธีกรรมที่เกี่ยวข้องกับพระพุทธศาสนายกตัวอย่างเช่นในศิลาจารึกที่เราพบที่จังหวัดลำพูนเนี่ยมันจะมีการกล่าวถึงพระมหากษัตริย์ยกตัวอย่างเช่นนะคะพระเจ้าสวาทิสิทธิเองเนี่ยในจารึกก็เขียนไว้ชัดเจนนะคะว่าสร้างวัดนะคะหรือมีการบูรณะปฏิสังขรณ์นะคะเพราะฉะนั้นเมื่อเวลาผ่านไปก็มีการผสมผสานทางด้านความเชื่อความคิดและรวมถึงการนับถือพระพุทธศาสนาเนี่ยก็เลยเป็นความเชื่อที่เป็นหลักนะคะ The Lua people were the original settlers in Hari Punchai. They set up villages and structured their societies according to systems of tribal order. The Lua are an ancient people spread all over the mountainous regions of northern Thailand. The legend of Khun Luang w i l a n k a tells of the conflict between the Lua people and the Mon people who entered during the era of Queen j a m a t e v i King w i l a n k a was defeated by Queen j a m a t e v i after which the king had to seek refuge in the forest. In the side of the tree, I came from the ancient Thai tribe, which is named by the king of the house, called the Father of the Pyayong. The Pyayong is the ancient tribe of the Thai tribe, from the Pyayong, from the Pyayong. อพยพมามาอยู่ที่เชียงแสนคราวนี้เมืองเชียงเชียงแสนแตกก็อพยพโดนกวาดกวาดต้อนมาในสมัยเจ้ากาวิระในยุคเก็บผักเสซ้าเก็บข้าเสมอแต่ผีเนี่ยเข้ามาก่อนมาเดินทางมาก่อนที่จะยุคที่จะเป็นยุคก่อนเชียงแสนแตก The shamanistic dance festival in Lampang 
is organized from the northern fifth month, which falls in the month of February, to the period entering the rainy season. Each ceremony lasts two days. The first day is the Fon Kao, which marks the assembly of friends and relatives who come together to help with preparations at the respective venue. The second day is the official day of the shamanistic dance. อ่าให้ผีปู่ย่าลงมาพูดคุยกับลูกหลานตัวตราความถูกต้องก่อนวันพิธีจริงต่างๆรวมไปถึงมัดมือนะครับก็คือเรียกขวัญกําลังใจแก่ลูกหลานในวันข่าวส่วนมากจะเป็นญาติในตระกูลมากกว่าครับในวันข่าว Members of the clan and community gather at Gook's house on the day of Phong Khao They are here to help prepare offerings for the ancestral spirits popped rice flowers and sets of beetle leaf rolls are arranged in trays covered in banana leaf cones according to the number of ancestral spirits to which they are dedicated. The homeowners and guests exchange greetings, which shows that the shamanistic dance ceremony is also an event that brings together friends and family. It's also a way to promote community networks. In the worship ceremonies of Lampang, ancestral spirits come in the form of P. Mot and P. Mei. Pimot are the ancestors of the homeowner. Pimang are the spirits of warriors and rulers. It's believed that the word Mang refers to the Mon, which northerners refer to as Mang. Some families consist of members from different belief systems who have intermarried. So the ancestral spirits in these households with mixed members are called Pimot Son Mang. อันนี้คือพระนุ่งของปิปุย่าลงมาเนี่ยปิปุย่าก็จะเลือกว่าจะนุ่งผืนไหนก็จะรู้ว่าใครนุ่งผืนไหนปิปุย่าก็จะเป
ที่อื่นๆที่เวลาโหนท่าลงนะครับเพราะฉะนั้นเราจะรู้ทันทีว่าตระกูลที่เป็นผีเมงหรือผีมอนเนี่ยจะต้องห้อยห้อยท่าลงตอนแรกเราที่จะเราจะเข้าสงเราก็อยู่เฉยๆถ้าเวลาใกล้จะเข้าสงมามันไม่มีความรู้สึกตัวไงแต่รู้รู้จักนะแต่ไม่มีไม่มีความอายไม่มีความละอายรู้จักทุกคนเห็นทุกคนรักษาก็แบบเหมือนก็เวลาหนูเจ็บเป็นมีคนเจ็บไข้ได้ป่วยใช่ไหมก็เอาดอกไม้ทูบเทียนมาบนบานสารกล่าวไว้ที่หอที่หอพ่อปู่เวลาปวดเนี้ยปวดตัวปวดแข้งปวดขามันก็หายเวลาเราเข้าสงเสร็จเรียบร้อยนะคะ In times of illness these ancestral spirits also play a part in helping people deal with their own health conditions Dance movements performed during the shamanistic ceremony have therapeutic effects in that they can help to relieve stress and anxiety. ก็สมัยโบราณเท่าแก่พ่อแม่ทำมาเนาะมันจะมีถึงเวลาเส้นไหวถึงเวลามันครบสามปีที่จะทำเพราะก็มีแกงอ่อมมีแกงอ่อมมีหมูมีครบกลัวพรุ่งนี้แหละค่ะสมัยโบราณมานะคะแต่ไม่ได้ทำถวายแบบนี้เป็นทำเป็นหม้อค่ะหม้อดินแต่หม้อเล็ก As for the food offerings, Guk tells us that the ancestors of this particular clan require that pork is the exclusive main ingredient. The ancestors of each household are believed to have their own food preferences, so the task of preparing the food can only be performed by the descendants. Of the respective household. เพราะฉะนั้นชาวมอญชาวเมงแล้วก็ชนชาติอื่นๆที่อยู่ในจังหวัดลําปางจะผูกพันกับพิธีกรรมฟ้อนผีอย่างพิธีกรรมวันนี้จะเห็นได้ชัดเจนว่าทั้งดนตรีทั้งเครื่องแต่งกายทั้งเครื่องสักการะทุกอย่างทุกประเด็นมีความผสมผสานกับกับชาวมอญชาวพม่าทั้งหมดเลยโดยที่บางครั้งมันไม่สามารถที่จะแยกแยกออกจากกันได้นะครับอันนี้ก็เป็นความสําคัญของ Although the form and presentation of the traditions have changed over time, the core concept remains the same, and that is the faith the descendants have for their departed family members. Belief in the Nat spirit strongly features, since Nats have been entered into the cultural fabric as influences from Myanmar. So Nat traditions have been absorbed into Buddhist interpretations. The Nats have become a dominant feature of the cultures of neighboring regions, with Lana being one of the regions on the receiving end. While history has shown that Lana has accomplished success as a collective structure of states, the region's distant location has proven to be a distinct disadvantage. There was a point in history where Lana was caught in the conflict between the two great kingdoms of Tong U and Ayutthaya. King Bai In Nong, also known as the Conqueror of Ten Directions, assembled what was arguably the largest empire in the history of Southeast Asia. As a result, Lana was weakened and fell under the empire's rule while becoming a tributary state. Of the Tong U Dynasty, in the 216 years that followed, despite these significant changes throughout the course of Lana history, the people of Lana stand very firm in their vision of heritage preservation, while also learning to blend in with other cultures. The Lana identity has become one of distinct cultural development and adaptability. Ensuring that the word Lana will never ever disappear from the map of life.
The image of the Lana people has always been associated with slow, enchanting music, graceful gestures, and sweet-sounding words. Lana history saw neighboring kingdoms experience glory and decline, while other cultural influences were absorbed into Lana society and ways of life. Through war and trade, cultural influences combined and blended, resulting in cultural hybridity. These new cultural phenomena that emerged from what had gone before can be compared to the branching of roots. In the areas of knowledge, skills, professions, traditional beliefs, and ritualistic expressions, the branching of the cultural root system continues to secure anchorage for the large tree of pluralism that provides shade for all the cultures and ethnicities under its widespread protection. Good work, Adidas.